Hello and welcome back to another video on Apiraphobia. Before we get started I just want to give a huge shout out to these people up on screen. Last video, I announced a way you could donate to me. I've had a couple people ask me if I was going to make other donation shirts that cost more, so I have decided to release two more t-shirts. Again, you do not have to buy them, they are just there as an option if you would like to donate. If you've donated already and would like a shout out in my next video, make sure to join my discord server down below. You can receive a brand new role only exclusive to those who have donated if you follow the steps located in the announcement channel. A huge thank you to everyone who has donated, I really appreciate it. Now, on to today's topic. Today we're going to be talking about Apiraphobia's next update, Update 4. It seems like this is going to be the start of the next chapter as it's been referred to as Chapter 2 by Maximum a couple times. There's a few things we know about this upcoming update. Let's talk about it. Starting with the main objective of this update, it looks like it's going to be focusing more on the lore aspect of the game, as stated by Maximum. It also looks like they're taking a different approach with this update, which is exciting. From these screenshots, it seems like they're going to take their time to prevent any rushed or unfinished additions to the game. Now, let's talk about this screenshot specifically. I would like to mention before I say anything, that nothing is confirmed if it wasn't specifically stated it was. Anyways, in this screenshot we can see Max talk about potentially adding a new protagonist to the story. As of right now, our current protagonist is unknown. We don't have any information on them. And I think this is a good time to mention that the cuts scene we see in the beginning of the game has no ties to the lore. This was revealed to us in a message from Max, once again. So, what does all this mean? We can expect to see some brand new changes to the game different from what we see now, as we are currently receiving small updates on revamped pre-existing levels. Other things we can expect is more story-based information. And before I end this video I just want to mention one last thing I think is important. After talking with Max, it looks like Apiraphobia is going to start splitting levels into multiple chapters. This means levels 0 to 15 are part of chapter 1, while the next, presumably, 15 levels will be part of chapter 2. But with that being said, that's the end of today's video. Thanks for watching.